Hi everyone, welcome to the Prime Math Lovers YouTube channel. Today we will be solving this 5th degree equation using a method known as synthetic division method. In this method, our initial step involves identifying all the factors of the constant term in the equation, which in this case is 12. The factors of 12 are uh, <clears throat> plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, and positive or negative 6. We then examine whether any of these numbers could be a root for the equation. Starting with plus 1, we substitute x and evaluate whether the result on the left side of the equation equals 0 or not. So it means we have 1 to the power of 5 minus 3 times 1 to the power of 4 minus 5 times 1 to the power of 3 plus 15 times 1 to the power of 2 plus 4 times 1 minus 12 and this will be 1 minus 3 minus 5 plus 15 plus 4 minus 12 and this will be uh, if we continue the calculation at the end we will have 12 minus 12 which is 0 uh, when testing with plus 1 the outcome is 0 indicating that plus 1 is one of the roots of the equation. This means that the left side of the equation is dividable by x minus 1. And uh, this method, synthetic division method, is actually a method for dividing uh, 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 <clears throat> an equation to another uh, binomial for, or polynomial. So, uh, first of all, I write down the coefficients of the equation, which are plus 1, minus 3, minus 5, plus 15, plus 14, negative 12. Then I uh, write down is x, x is equal 1 here, and... Uh, <clears throat> I bring down the first coefficients, so the first coefficients will be the same. We have positive 1. Then I um, 1 times positive 1 is positive 1. I write it, write it here. My, uh, negative 3 positive 1 will be negative 2. 1 times negative 2 will be negative 2. Negative 5 negative 2 will be negative 7. 1 times negative 7 will be negative 7. Positive 15, negative 7 will be positive 8. Positive 8 times 1 is um, positive 8. Plus 4, um, positive 8 will be positive 12. Uh, positive 12 times 1 will be positive 12. Uh, minus 12, positive, uh, plus 4, 12 will be 0. Uh, and this, uh, um, <clears throat> this means that uh, this equation is dividable by uh, x minus 1. So uh, I write it down again. Our equation, which was x uh, to the power of 5 minus 3, x to the power of 4 minus 5, x to the power of 3, plus 15, x to the power of 2 plus 4, x minus 12, will be x minus 1 times and the coefficients of the new uh, new um, polynomial that uh, will be one degree less less than the main one will be plus one my, uh, negative two negative seven positive eight and positive twelve it means this equation is equal to x minus one times x to the power of four minus two x to the power of three minus seven times x to the power of two plus 7 times x plus 12 and um, now we uh, need to solve this fourth degree equation we have one answer here already
Okay, we do the thing for this equation now. So what I do, I uh, write down x is equal to, um, I try to find another factor that um, is valid, uh, is a valid root uh, or valid uh, answer to this equation. I try minus 1. So I substitute x with minus 1. We, I'll have minus 1 to the power of 4, minus 2 times minus 1 to the power of 3, minus 7 times minus 1 to the power of 2, plus 8 times minus 1, plus 12. And uh, this will be 1 my, plus 2, minus 1 to the power of 3 will be minus 1, times minus 2 is the, uh, plus 2. Minus 7, again he, here I'll have minus 8, plus 12. And if we calculate this, at the end, we will have um, minus 12 plus 12, which is 0. And again, it means that uh, this polynomial is divided, dividable by x plus 1. So, um, yeah, again, uh, as I said, we write down the coefficients of the polynomial, so it will be plus 1, minus 2, minus 7, plus 8, and uh, positive 12. And I write down x is equal to minus 1 here. Again, I bring down um, the first coefficients will be the same. So, positive 1. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Negative 2, negative 1 will be negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 1 will be positive 3. Negative 7, positive 3 will be um, negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 will be positive 4. Positive 8, positive 4 will be positive 12. Positive 12 times minus 1 will be minus 12, negative 12. And positive 12, negative 12 will be 0. So this, we can write down uh, the initial equation as... Uh, x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x3. Uh, we reduce a degree and coefficients are these numbers we found. So x3 minus 3x2 minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. Next step is solving this equation. We uh, repeat the same steps. So we try x is equal to 2 on this equation and replace uh, x with 2. So I'll have 2 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 2 plus 12. And it will be 8 minus 12 minus 8 plus 12. And we, uh, we can see that the result of this will be 0. And this again shows that um, x is equal to 2 is another root of this equation. And x to the power of 3 minus 3x three to the power of 2 minus 4x plus 12 is dividable by x plus 2. And we uh, follow the steps to uh, do this uh, division with the same method. So uh, again, I write down the coefficients here, which is plus uh, ne positive 1, negative 3, negative 4, and positive 12. And I write down x is equal to here. The first coefficients will be the same, so we, I'll have plus 1. Plus 1 times 2 is uh, positive 2. Negative 3, positive 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 times 2 is uh, minus 2. Negative 4, negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 times 2 is uh, negative uh, 12. Positive 12, negative 12 is 0. So the, uh, we can write down this equation as this and this equation as um, x plus, x, sorry, minus 1, x minus 2 times x squared minus x minus 6. These are the coefficients of the new polynomial, which is one degree less than the current one. So 
x plus 1 is x2 minus x minus 6. And next step is solving this equation. This is a quadratic um, a quadratic equation and solving this is easy, uh, very easy. And we can see that um, the uh, we can factor this as uh, x plus 2 times x minus 3. Because um, plus 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. And plus 2 plus minus 3 is minus 1. So we can write down this one as x plus 2 times x minus 3. When we have five factors um, uh, multiplied together resulting in zero, it implies that each individual factor should be set equal to zero. x minus 1 equal to zero means x is equal to 1. x plus 1 equal to zero means x is equal to minus 1 x minus 2 equal to 0, x is 2. x plus 2 minus 0, x is minus 2, negative 2. And x minus 3 is equal to 0 means x is equal to positive 3. And these five are the roots of this fifth degree equation. I hope you found the video enjoyable. It would mean a lot if you could give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Wishing you a fantastic time wherever you are on this planet. Cheers.